guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Angela and today I am starting my journey of Avatar The Last Airbender. This show gets recommended a lot to me um, in, in different various uh, areas on my channel, whether it's an animated series or if even if it's like a, a series that has to do with like some sort of kung fu or fighting, uh, it, it gets brought up a lot. And I've wanted to watch it for quite some time, and I think now's the time to start this journey. Um, I don't really know anything about it or about the characters or the storyline. I will say that I have seen the movie, but I saw it like when it came out originally in theaters. So that's like 15-ish years ago or something along that line. Uh, so um, I, I don't remember hating that movie, but I don't know if I had any information that would have made me think otherwise, that like maybe it wasn't good or the story wasn't good. But I do remember that the Twilight guy was in it and that wasn't really a good thing because he didn't really match the character he was supposed to be playing. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, uh, I don't really know what to expect. I, I watched a couple different animated series um, on my channel, whether it was you know, Invincible or Arcane, uh, most recently Vox Machina. They're all completely different, just like every movie and every television show is different. Uh, so I expect this to be different. Um, and, but I do know it was on Nickelodeon, so it's probably very kid-friendly. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that, uh, just after like something like Invincible. <laughs> You want something that's just fresh and clean. <laughs> so that being said, guys, I'm super excited to get into this. So let's get into it. Water. Earth. Fire. Okay. And right into the elements. I love it. I still believe that somehow, the Avatar will return to save the world. I believe it will. <laughs> the boy in the iceberg. Like maybe an Avatar got caught in an iceberg? The Avatar? An Avatar? Okay, they keep showing glaciers and it keeps giving me cold chills. It's working. Why is it that every time you play with magic water, I get soaked? <laughs> it's not magic, it's water bending. Okay, I was and just gonna yeah, ask that. Ancient art, unique to our culture, blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm just saying that if I had weird powers, I'd keep my weirdness to myself. Hmm. You're calling me weird? I'm not the one who makes muscles at myself every time I see my reflection in the water. <laughs> Call out. Oh, you want her to bend some water now, I bet. Watch out! Go left! Go left! Uh, that's not good. You call that left? You don't like my steering. Well, maybe you should have water bended us out of the ice. That's what I was thinking, actually. Leave it to a girl to screw things up. Oh, really? Oh, really? You are the most sexist, immature, nut-brained... I'm embarrassed to be related to you! Oh! Uh... Ever since Mom died, I've been doing all the work around camp while you've been off playing soldier! Uh, Katara? Yeah. I even wash all the clothes! Have you ever smelled your dirty Katara, salt? bring it down a little bit, honey. Not pleasant! Katara, settle down! No, <sighs> that's it! I'm done helping you! From now on, you're on your own! She's pretty powerful, yes? Or maybe she just needs to be angry to be powerful? Okay, you've gone from weird to freakish, Katara. I like it. You mean I did that? Yep. Congratulations. Oh, good job, girl. Is this the boy in the iceberg? I do know that that's somebody special. 
Katara, get back here. We don't know what that thing is. I like her a lot. I like Katara a lot. <laughs> well, help her. Never mind. were those <laughs> uncle do you realize what this means i won't get to finish my game are they firebenders why don't you enjoy a cup of calming jasmine tea i don't need any calming tea maybe a little bit the avatar. okay so what happens though if he finds him is, is it a duel is it a fight my money's on an avatar oh catch him Uh, yeah, poke him in the head. Please, come closer. Will you go penguin sledding with me? Oh, okay. Uh, not what I thought. How'd you get in the ice? And why aren't you frozen? I'm not sure. Very good questions, though. <gasps> Is there a beast in there? Uh, Appa! Are you alright? What is Appa? I love him already. Hey, you're okay. I love him. Oh, I love him. <laughs> this is Appa, my flying bison. He's a flying bison? Oh. <laughs> Couldn't have a better guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure he's a spy for the Fire Navy. You can tell by that evil look in his eye. <laughs> Boogers, sneeze. Oh god. Okay. I'm Ang. Ang. You just sneezed and flew ten feet in the air. Really? It fell higher than that. <laughs> I'm going home to where stuff makes sense. Yeah, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you guys are stuck, Appa and I can give you a lift. I would love to ride on that flying bison. Appa, yip yip! Oh! He has six legs. It's a flying bison. I don't know why I'd be surprised it has six legs. Why are you smiling at me like that? Uh, oh, I was smiling? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're right and the Avatar is alive, you won't find him. Your father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all tried and failed. Mm. Because their honor didn't hinge on the Avatar's capture. Mine does. This coward's hundred years in hiding are over. Okay. Very angry. I guess I was wondering if you had any idea what happened to the Avatar. Uh, no. I didn't know him. I mean, I knew people that knew him. But I didn't. Sorry. So he's not the Avatar? Or he is? Confused. <laughs> Oh, so he is. Hey, hey, wake up! <gasps> it's okay. We're in the village now. Oh wow! Come on, get ready. Everyone's waiting to meet you. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, no one has seen an airbender in a hundred years. We thought they were extinct until my granddaughter and grandson found you. Extinct? Ang, this is my grandmother. Call me Grand Grand. Hey, Grand Grand. What is this, a weapon? You can't stab anything with this. It's not for stabbing. It lets me control the air currents around my glider and fly. Awesome. <gasps> oh, that's really cool. But he just found out, like, all the other airbenders are gone. 
He's literally the last airbender. Try not to put all your hopes in this boy. But he's special. I can tell. I sense he's filled with much wisdom. <laughs> Again. So he's just pretty much been raised to be a warrior. I've been drilling the sequence all day. Teach me the next set. I'm more than ready. No, mm. you are impatient. Yep. You have yet to master your basics. Shoots from the hip. You will teach me the advanced set. Very well. But first, I must finish my roast duck. <laughs> he is in no rush to help you. In the water tribe, we fight to the last man standing. For without courage, how can we call ourselves men? Hello. I gotta pee. <laughs> okay, who else has to go? Yeah, there are like three. Penguin! Okay. Jeez. Okay, the penguin are weird too with their double fins. I don't like it. I'll help you catch a penguin if you teach me water bending. Hmm. You got a deal. I <laughs> say fair trade. No problem. I'm an airbender, not a water bender. What about the North Pole? There's another water tribe up there, right? It's not exactly turn right at the second glacier. It's on the other side of the yeah. world. But you forget, I have a flying bison. Appa and I can personally fly you to the North Pole. That seems like a really long journey. Journey. <laughs> okay, listen closely, my young pupil. Catching <laughs> penguins is an ancient and sacred art. Observe. <laughs> How many do you want is now the question. We can see him sledding on a penguin. They can't like that. I haven't done this since I was a kid. You still are a kid. Good point. Whoa. What is that? Hmm. A fire navy ship. Ang, stop. We're not allowed to go near it. The ship could be booby trapped. If you want to be a bender, you have to let go of fear. Oh. Uh. But what if it's dangerous? Ang. How long were you in that iceberg? Long time. I don't know. A few days, maybe? I think it was more like a hundred years. What? That's impossible. You were in there that whole time. It's the only explanation. <laughs> a hundred years. Maybe somehow there's a bright side to all this. I did get to meet you. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here. Well, Aang is just the sweetest little thing, isn't he? Huh? Booby trap! Oh. What's that you said about booby traps? Yeah. Hold on tight! Ah! Please tell me that's her brother. Airbender. Nope. To be continued. Well, the good news is I will be watching the next episode. <laughs> Directed by Dave Filoni? Well, that just made it for me. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. <laughs> but I believe Aang can save the world. Me too. I absolutely love when his eyes and the arrows light up, but I don't know what the arrows mean. Is that like for air? Also, the, the I already forgot his name, the bison, the flying bison has it. Can he take all of them to the North Pole? I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but that would be nice. We were on the ship and there was this booby trap and well, we, we booby right into it. <laughs> the traitor confesses warriors away from the enemy the foreigner is banished from our village Sokka you're making a mistake Sokka is just a brat Katara you knew going on that ship was forbidden Sokka is right 
Oh. I think it best if the airbender leaves. Really? Where will you go? Guess I'll go back home and look for the airbenders. Wow. I haven't cleaned my room in a hundred years. <laughs> His room probably doesn't exist. Ah! Aang, don't go. I'll Aww. miss you. I'll miss you too. Come on, boy. I want to see him fly. There goes my one chance of becoming a waterbender. Don't yell at Grand Grand. All right, ready our defenses. The Fire Nation could be on our shores any moment now. But I gotta. And no potty <laughs> breaks. <laughs> it's really easy to just go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I liked her too. No. The village. Will Appa wake up? Appa, wait here. Oh, I guess we're just gonna leave Appa there. Oh. Well, that's equal parts scary and cool. Is this a birthmark or is this like a black guy? I haven't figured that out quite yet. I guess if we go a couple episodes with it, it's definitely uh, not a black guy. Maybe it's a scar. Was he burned? Dang. Oh, oh God, move! Katara, do something. Put your ship in the middle of a village. Uh, Sokka! Jeez. Okay, the firebenders are scary. They got really cool intimidating outfits. I know you're hiding him! Oh, Sokka, you're so brave. Show no fear. Aww. And no potty breaks. <laughs> oh, it was a good try. Oh, well, got him. <laughs> He's going down on a penguin. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get to see him like in action against the firebender so soon. Looking for me? You're the airbender? You're the avatar? Hang? No way. Yes way. I've spent years preparing for this encounter. Training, meditating. You're just a child. Well, you're just a teenager. It's <laughs> a good pointing. If I go with you, will you promise to leave everyone alone? Oh, I didn't see that coming. Can we take him at his word? Don't worry, Katara. It'll be okay. Ugh. I'm sure it will be, but. Course of the Fire Nation. I'm going home. Well, what do they do once they have him? If we don't help him, no one will. I know you don't like Aang, but we owe him. Katara, are you going to talk all day or are you coming with me? Oh. Get it. We're going to save your boyfriend. He's not my whatever. <laughs> um You'll need these. Oh, Grand Grand! <laughs> it's been so long since I've had hope. 
Oh. But you brought it back to life, my little waterbender. <laughs> and you, my brave warrior. He was very brave. Uh, Appa. You just love taking me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's where real growth happens. Take the avatar to the prison hold and take this to my quarters. Hey, you mind taking this to his quarters for me? <laughs> I bet I could take you both with my hands tied behind my back. Silence. Let's see it. <laughs> Asking ye shall receive. I love it. up a fly what was it that kid said yeehaw hop hop wahoo uh yip yip oh is it happening is it happening <laughs> he's flying he's flying Katari, he's... i mean Big deal. Uh huh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't like some reveal at like the end of the first season to wait to see him fly. You haven't seen my staff around, have you? <laughs> Can you help him find his weapon, please? Thanks anyway. <laughs> Nice. Sorry. <laughs> My staff. Oh, well. Looks like I underestimated you. It's a trick, but yeah. Interesting. I didn't expect like a close quarters combat type of situation. Oh, <laughs> that was unexpected. So we've only seen him manipulate the air. We haven't seen him do any of the other elements. What is that? <laughs> okay. I love when he does that. Did you see what he just did? Uh huh. Now that was some water bending. I was wondering when he was gonna do the other elements, cause he's the avatar. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Come on, girl. It's a good start. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Shoot them down. Whoa. He didn't like kill him. Okay, good. He just trapped the ship. Well, if we go to the North Pole, you can master waterbending. We can learn it together. And Sokka, I'm sure you'll get to knock some firebender heads on the way. I'd like that. I'd really like that. <laughs> we have some serious business to attend to. Oh, yeah. Here, here. And here, here, we'll ride the hopping llamas. Then way over here, we'll surf on the backs of giant koi fish. Then back over here, we'll ride the hog monkeys. They don't like people riding them, but that's what makes it fun. You gotta have some fun. <laughs> Another one by Dave Filoni. Huh. Okay, so, uh, I love Aang. <laughs> I love Appa. Uh, I love Katara. 
Sokka is, uh, you know, he's he's a bratty brother. Um, I think that he's great. He came around, uh, but he has a warrior's heart and, and he's incredibly brave. And he had no hesitation uh, fighting Prince Zuko. I'm trying to remember. It was like something, I think it's Zuko. Uh, I just, in my head, all I was thinking was Greece. <laughs> Um, but you know, he, he had no hesitation fighting him whatsoever. So he's definitely got a warrior's heart. Um, and I really love Katara and like her, 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 her wanting and her desire to be better at water bending Cause it seems like she's the only one that can do it. I thought it was more common. Um, cause a lot of the kids kept calling it magic. I don't know if it's a power, if it is a martial arts fighting style, or if in this case it is both. Cause I feel like, um, in live action stuff, it is, uh, definitely in sync with a fighting style with this. It is definitely just manipulating the elements. Um, and I love that. I love that. Um, I, I, I love how we met Aang. Um, and I will say that like when he's Aang, He's adorable and he's sweet and he wants to have fun and, and like everybody loves him and he's great to be around. Um, but then when he's the avatar, it's like, that's like business mode. Like he, he goes from fun to like professional real quick. Um, and I, I love when he does that. I know that it's like, like probably the, the power up that everybody loves from the avatar. Um, he just looks like really cool. Um, so digging that, definitely digging that. Appa. I was so happy to finally see a flying buffalo, a flying water buffalo, a flying. It was fun to see Appa fly. All six of his legs were just flying behind him with his big tails. Fantastic. I was happy to see it. I thought maybe that might be something they might just like keep waiting to show you. Um, and, you know, he was just going to be like a lazy bison, just like, you know, <laughs> floating along. Uh, so I was happy we got to see that. I feel like um, Prince Zuko, even though he kind of seems like um, bratty, I do feel like he's got probably the weight of his entire tribe on his shoulders and like this this need to prove himself because he's probably since birth been raised to be that person. Um, and and he seemed like very like um, surprised. And I don't, I don't want to say like there was like a look of innocence on his face, but when he also saw Appa, he was like, what is that? You know, and he like had like a little bit of a curiosity to him. So, you know, I, I don't necessarily think that the firebenders are bad. I think their end game isn't great. Um, and I think the fact that they've been waging war for a hundred years makes them not necessarily, uh, the person that you want to be friends with. Um, but I would like to understand that side just a little bit more, but I, I definitely have a sympathy for, uh, Prince Zuko. And I, I don't know if that's a burn, if it's a birthmark, uh, at first I was like, oh, we got a black guy fighting. And then I was like, ah, I don't know if they would just keep having that around episode after episode. I'm digging it though. I'm digging it. Like it's, it's kind of like a cool distinction that he has on his face. I don't know if we got who the old guy is with him, if it's just his master, um, but they're both firebenders. They both threw fire uh, at, at Appa and the kids in the sky. So uh, they have more benders than we do um, that have the same power, I guess, because uh, we both equally right now have two benders that at least we know of. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Are we, are we going to the North Pole? Are we stopping in all those places to ride all those animals? But are we meeting with the other tribe? And like, are we really going to get like dialed in to our water bending? Uh, I, I'm excited. This is a really cute show. Um, the, the, the innocence of it is fantastic. Um, but it's, 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 it's happy. It has a lot of heart and I'm enjoying that. Um, I know that I'm going to get a lot more story later on and it's going to build. And this was just a really great introduction. I didn't know this going into it, but at the end of each episode, they always tell you who it's directed by. And it said Dave Filoni. I love Dave Filoni. He, he, he created one of my, my favorite Star Wars characters of all time, Captain Rex. Uh, so, um, yeah, what do you know? It all just merges somehow, doesn't it? <laughs> But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reactions to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon as well as uh, a few episodes early. Uh, me and editor Nathaniel are trying to figure out exactly what order we want to release these in, if we always want duos, if we want more than one episode, if there's different uh, clumps that we need to put everything together, then we will definitely do that. Uh, but in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, definitely, uh, like, what was your introduction to the show? Did you originally watch it when it aired? 
aired on Nickelodeon when you were a kid, or maybe you watched it with your kids, or did you watch it later on? Um, because I distinctly remember these Blu-rays, or gosh, it might even have been just DVDs, not even Blu-rays, sitting on an ex-boyfriend shelf, and him and his daughter would watch this all the time, and I was never around for that, but I do know that like uh, a lot of parents and kids enjoy watching this together. I wonder if that was your experience. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like this show. I think that it is um, uh, really light and refreshing. Um, you know, there's the, I, I loved watching a lot of shows on my channel, but uh, there's some heart and there's a lot of heaviness, and I feel like this is is really light. That doesn't mean that there's not heaviness waiting for me because I feel like uh, it's going to be really easy to fall in love with these characters, and uh, if they're in peril, I could definitely find it breaking my heart. So hopefully that doesn't happen for a long time, and I get to just enjoy the lightness of it. But guys, uh, really like the show. Really excited to watch more, and. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye.